Yo, 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 what's going on, man? High Society Podcast, episode 38, we in the building, man, you already know, man, it's your host, b High. got my host in here, Saz24, Queasy's way in the building, as usual, uh-huh. and we got some special guests today, man, some real, real special guests, man, I got my boy all the way from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, G.S. Lion, and I also, also, She's not from Brooklyn, but she's made very, very clear. She's from Harlem. Harlem, Harlem New York, man. Polo Ground, stand up. Harlem. We got the lovely Miss Kiki also in the building. How y'all doing, man? How was the trip over here? Good? Definitely good, but I got to correct you. I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Yo, five man. star from Five star from Brooklyn. My bad. Hey, My from boy's Brooklyn. from Elizabeth. My hey, bad. Elizabeth, East New Jersey. Eastwood. East 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 you know. Oh, I had a New York. Yeah, yeah I had to. Yo, well, see, uh, yeah, I've been in contact with Foster. Shout out to Foster. I've been in contact with him. So everybody he's he's been with, I automatically think they from Brooklyn. Yeah, well. definitely. Shout out you to you Brooklyn. Me? Always. You feel me? But what's going on, man? How, how, so let me know, man. GS Lion. Elizabeth, New Jersey. I would, you, uh. I thought you was from Brooklyn. I had I had a different question, but now that I know you from Elizabeth. <laughs> so what's the, what's the general, now what's, that I know, what was the Brooklyn question? Nah, now that I know you from, because I seen you in front of Biggie House. Yeah. You was, how was that experience? You know what I mean? you For those who don't know, you did a uh, freestyle in front of Biggie Crib, 226 St. James. Yeah. It was a blessing, man. It was just, just to be there, you know, in another, like, presence of an yeah. artist, a legend. You know, you know, I didn't get to meet him or nothing, but through the music. You know, I could meet him with the memory and all that. So it was definitely a good shot to come up there and spit some bars, man, and take a picture, too. Definitely. So what uh, it? And I, I got on Biggie Hat today, too. What you doing? Hey. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's crazy. Yeah. That's the yeah. shit dope, too. Yeah. Good looking. Appreciate that. Appreciate uh, that. Shout out, shout out to Biggie, man. Shout out to... Yeah, definitely. Juneteenth was yesterday, too, man. man. It was a lot of waves and shit going on. A lot of waves, yeah. How, how was your week, though? It was good, right. man. You know, it had a big cookout. It was like 100 people there. Like, mm-hmm. right. And, um, you know, it was funny because during the cookout, we had a conversation about uh, B. Simone. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all know who B. Simone About that whole know who topic Simone. of, you know, her stating, <laughs> you know, her personal preferences as far as uh, a soulmate. She wants a, a CEO husband. She don't want no nine to five nigga. That, that's what she called. Mm. Mm. So basically, she's saying she would never date a nine to five dude. That's yes. what's wrong with this era. After response. Yeah, listen. She's saying that she has to manifest it. You have to manifest it. That's what you want. You speak it. No, no. See, no, talk, no, talk, no, talk, see no. this is what I want. You, you gotta have that woman uh, yeah, that opinion, helps. definitely. Okay, so there's actually three videos of her actually keep explaining it down and down. So for everyone to actually understand what she's saying. So in the third video, she's stating that what I'm saying is I don't want to get with a regular person. And he's trying to figure out why is his girl on the phone at 3 Mm a.m. He's supposed to be sleeping when I'd rather be with someone who's doing the same thing in my field that understands so that he understands why I'm up at 3 a.m. Because he's up at 3 a.m. as well, Mm -hmm. checking emails Mm -hmm. as well. So I want to be in a relationship with one that's understanding of me getting to the bag. Yeah. A person that as a nine to five is not gonna understand that. He's yeah. always gonna think the typical, what is she doing? Is she cheating? And this and the third is toxic at that point. It's no point. So mm. she explained that she doesn't want to be with someone in a nine to five. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. She just right. doesn't want. She should have labeled it actually wordily differently. That third response was a perfect response right. to it. Because that she first felt response, they were coming for her. That's why. They it were really like, coming for her. Come on, yeah. like you know, like, like you started like at the bottom. What you mean? But she had to, you know, it. keep explaining and explaining, mm. it, and that's okay because not everybody can comprehend what you're saying. Yeah. So you yeah. have to keep explaining yourself, especially if you're a public figure and people know about right. you. Yeah. And you make a statement like that, especially if you don't know how to probably word it, whether it's joking or not. Some people they take things seriously and they drag it out, and that situation got dragged. And she just had to keep explaining herself. But look how that situation opened up a whole oh. bag of devil tricks now. Yeah. Now she plagiarism, right? Now, possibly, she probably got to get up that bag that she made. Right. She got to give it up. Getting sued and stuff. Getting yeah. sued. So 
you know, that public relation right there, that first time that she came out, she should have came out that third, like mm -hmm. how she responded that third time. Mm -hmm. And I think people would have never dug in. Into, like, who is this girl really? You can't, now, you're not even funny, you don't roll, like, you know, while and all, you're not even all mm -hmm. that funny. So like, now it's like, you look like a fraud. <laughs> I'm saying, but how, how you gonna knock somebody for how you feel though? Like mm -hmm. that's how she feel. That's how she feel. Exactly. That's, how but I that's why she kept it. having to explain for the people that kept knocking mm -hmm. her on how she felt. That's why I'm mm -hmm. saying it's okay to explain, but not everybody's going to comprehend what you say. So you have to keep explaining yourself for everyone right. to understand you. I mean, that's how I yeah. feel about it. Cause you got, I mean, people got preferences all all, yeah. all right. across it's, the board. Yeah. Some yeah. people yeah. only like. Uh, light skinned girls. I only right. like dark skinned girls. I only You're like, entitled to that. Right. I only right. like guys six, six four and up type shit. Like right. people, everybody got their own little preferences yeah. and shit like that. You feel me? Like I think it's. it's but whatever. not her like, reading the book that she wrote. That's a problem for me. <laughs> but that's a whole different. You dig that's saying? a whole that's different. That's like, she wrote. That's like she said about a crime type of book. It was yeah. like manifestation, <laughs> right? You you speak it to the mm. universe and it will happen. You just got to keep speaking it, right? Yeah. Which is understandable. Yeah. But I she took that. context from other people and used it word for word. word. You know, that's an imitator. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. it's my thing is after you as a writer, I'm a writer. After you write something, you read it over to make sure you research. You yeah. make yeah, sure yeah, fact, that means you didn't do your research. You just let your writers write and yeah. was like, all right, I'm gonna sell it. She got gas. Nine times out of ten, you had she had she had to read that before. She had to read that somewhere before. Like you didn't just read the write the exact same thing somebody else wrote. Like though, that's mm -hmm. impossible. Like yeah, word for word. No, you like, can, how you gonna do that? Yeah, though? Like, word it's like you gotta word. be there for them to do that though. Like, but she's saying that? that she didn't have any knowledge that her writers used that. But that means that you didn't right. read. Right. You didn't. That means you didn't even write the book then. <laughs> so why's your right. name on it? Like, <laughs> it makes it, so. It, yeah, that's a fraud, man. Yeah, that's fraud all way around. That's fraud, man. But, so now she got to pay for it because you're in the face of it. So that's what happens when you're in the face of something and you don't know no knowledge of it. Exactly. Yeah. Your homework. Exactly. So, exactly. Kiki, let, let let everybody know what it is that you do in the, uh, in the industry and shit like that. Let them know is it, what you got going on. Well, I am a model. Okay. I mm. model in New York City for, like, majority of all the five boroughs. Um, I also have a create directing that I'm trying to also kick up. I did work with Vina Love. She was my first actual client that I had before all of this started. So that was pretty dope. She, that was pretty good. Like yeah. it went really, really well. My visual came out exactly how I wanted it. So, and she was happy. She trusted me. So, and that's, that's what cool. I want when I interact with people when it comes to create directing. I want them to trust me with my visual. So I'm promoting that as well, as well with my podcast. Is so what it is that exactly you, you do? You shooting like music videos? I people? do that and photo shoots. Okay. So I was doing um, an album release cover for her. She was doing a few album like singles, I guess, at the time. And she did like nine different looks. And we busted down at FD Studio that they have in Queens. and That's dope. Yeah. We did a really amazing job. Like It was really dope. That's dope. Nice. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. So anybody need to follow Kiki, tell them where they can follow you at so you can make sure you get your videos popping and make sure you get your motherfucking photographs popping. You feel what I'm saying? Let them know where they can follow you at so they can get their shit popping. You can follow me on Instagram. That's my main platform that I'm on. Um, it's the most popular platform, so I use that. You can yeah. find me at Kiki, K-I-K-I -K -I underscore Charlie C H A R L I E B underscore. Make sure y'all hit Instagram. up. Make sure y'all hit it up so y'all get your motherfucking pictures popping. Cause some pictures I uh, be looking crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Monty Monty Monty's Monty's is lit. Like yeah. <laughs> we, we, we gonna check Fire. it out. But uh, G S Lion, right? Where, where, where the name come from? G S Lion. G S Lion stands for God Sent Lion. Is um, it Jamaican? You Jamaican? <laughs> Nah, I'm icy. I'm Asian. Okay, all right. Stop, I say. So I got fat. You Stop feel me? Fit. Well, shout out to my um, Jamaicans, my rude boys. You feel me? Same shit, though. Mm -hmm. But definitely, GS Line came from God Sent Line. I was just in the hood one day, you know, watching kids play. And, like, just hearing the kids play and watching them, it was summertime. And I was just by myself, just thinking, I'm like, yo, dad, kids are God Sent. Like, cause just looking at kids, like you could be mad as shit. Nah, yeah, you see right, kids, right, like yeah, they smile, you gonna smile, some something with your emotion gonna connect with them. The innocence. Then, yeah. Right. So I just was like, yo, kids are godsend. Right. And then That's just right. my subconscious just was like, you godsend too. Mm. Then I was like, dad, godsend. And then I favor lions, like that's my animal, one of my animal spirits, lion. Right. So I'm like, godsend a man, 
with a mindset of a lion. Mm -hmm. So you get what I'm saying? Like that's how God sent lion came about. That's deep. Right, that's you know deep. what I'm saying? Right. How 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 important you think is like rap names and shit though? It like, got like you think it's important for because a lot of times like I think a lot of people that got like two like a last first and last name mm -hmm. rap name is like good like mm -hmm. like I always wanted like a like a mm -hmm. like, you know you got like a Kendrick Lamar like or <laughs> Tupac Shakur like you feel like somebody with a first and a last name is always like that's a dope rap name like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. think it's important? Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. yeah, you, that shit is important and it's authentic. Yeah, you know what I mean. It gotta be authentic and. Yeah, authentic and genuine. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want to have a bullshit rap name uh, and then get known for that rap name. Yeah. And then a you want to change that rap name. A lot of people got rap names, bro. <laughs> I got an example. I got an example. Soldier Boy, I, I like. Like, look at you. Uh, what about what about yeah, that, that little rapper, Lil Poopy? You lying? There's a it's rapper a called Lil Poopy? Poopy. Lil Poopy, bro. He was on Flow and Rhyme. You lying, on, bro? On Netflix, he was on Flow and Rhyme. The same thing I, that D Smoke won. He won that. Yeah, he was on that. I mean, I guess you're running poopy, out of yo. littles. Like, it ain't too many. <laughs> little baby, the baby, <laughs> It ain't too many baby. littles you nah, can do baby, no more. That's like, that's like, oh, that's it's about five of those out right now. Nah, you ain't going to be it's a baby three. forever. But it's catchy. Like, even if he's 40, oh, who that? That's the baby. They little need poopy to, catchy, too. They need to do an nah, album. No. They need <laughs> little to do poopy catchy. It make you think little poopy. Once nah, you hear somebody named little poopy, you like little poopy. You don't nah. think about that? Nah. Nah, I, I don't think your name is more important than your music is, though. Nah, nah definitely not. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not. I mean, the name mm, could be, but the, the the name is important. It's important to a certain extent. Like, yeah, balance. Like, but your name, yeah, yeah, your music definitely got to be like on point. Like that shit got to right, be. All right. Cause like you got like Easy E. That's like a basic rap name, but yeah, great, mm -hmm, great yeah. music at that time. So you know what I mean. Should mm -hmm. should get lit like that, but yeah, yeah. As far as the uh the protests, I know y'all everybody seen the protests going on. Right. I was at a Juneteenth march yesterday, and they talking about defunding the police. Like, but my question is, what do that look like? Defunding the police. Like, what does that look like? There's no police. Like, is that what we? Like, like, is you for no police at all? Yeah, I'm for no police. No you police at all. We could do it. Why we can't do it? Mm. I, I, I'm for police. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't feel like we could do it because you're gonna have some. Right you're there. gonna have some 18 year olds, 19 year olds, knuckleheads. Like, like for instance, I was at um a court. It was like 250 people there. Like it was in South West Orange playing ball. Mm. The older heads. We had to tell this little 19 year old. He, he had a nine on him. Mm. Like yo, get that out of here. You know what I mean? And, and it's that mentality. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I doubt it. Nah, mm -hmm. we could, cause how how they used to do it back in the days. Right. What's that saying? They said it takes the um village, family, the yeah, kid, it takes yeah. the family to raise. Well, how it goes again? A village to raise the kids. Yeah, yeah, to raise the kid, yeah. and that's what happened. It's no more village. Nah, you right. You understand what I'm saying? Now we got police over. If the police officer cared, you understand what I'm saying? If they was doing what they were supposed to do, these words wouldn't come out of my mouth. Facts. But since years upon years, even before we was born, Facts. this type of shit been happening. So it's up to us. That's why we these things keep happening. Protesting, keep repeating yourself. I've been looking at the 70s, 60s, 50s. Same shit. Same we shit. We keep right, doing right. the same shit. But right. why we don't just say, yo, why don't we just take control? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with you being what y'all doing. Y'all took control. Y'all own y'all shit. Yeah. And you become a better person. Right. Believing in somebody else to help what you really need help on, it's not going to work. And that's the problem with us right now, right today. Like, we think... We think police is going to help us. Yeah. So my question to you is, if you know that the police department is just, like, community-based, that's why the feds and all of them could talk to them like they ain't shit. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like, but you know that they're there just to patrol the community. It's just they're abusing it. So let's say mm. right now if there's someone that's mentally ill and they're having a killing spree of just stabbing people, like, who do you bring them in? Straight to the courthouse? No, you have to bring them into somewhere first. I get what you're saying. Like you need, uh, you you need somebody to take care of those type of people yeah. that you're saying. I get it. Like, but it's, just, it's past old. We can do this ourselves. What's we'll stop the kids from robbing? I get what you're saying, but see, the thing is, my thing. I kind of agree, agree with GS Lion, but see, I I don't know what can be in in place of the police to take care of things that you just said. Mm -hmm. But I think when it comes to defunding the police, I think that opens up an idea 
to everybody start like thinking about what could possibly replace police. You should get the FOI, man. The, the FOI, FOI out there, man. The question that they're yeah, but see, it's no, it's no time. And somebody said this yesterday. I heard his brother say that it, it was. He was asking what time in history was the community and police ever, ever like cool type shit like. It was never, never. it was never, Same shit I'm saying. it was never a time when, when, when we could look at police as, as That's they right. actually doing their job and as allies and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I say, when they say defund the police, I don't think they just talking about just get rid of the police, burn Dang it down. Do I think they mean like restructure the whole, the whole system type of thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Cause you got, uh, police, uh, departments like, um, LAPD. They get like I think two billion dollars budget, two billion dollars to do bullshit. And then they say they uh they they cut in their budget by I think three hundred million. That's like ten percent. Yeah, two billion dollars. Yeah, hey, we gonna miss that. And man. they re <laughs> and, and they reinvest in it into black communities, right? My question is. I, I want to ask you first because it looks like you're gonna say. <laughs> He's ready for this one. They say they're reinvesting in the black community. Now, I want to know. Tell me, have you ever seen any type of reinvestment into your community from shit like that? Because you know they say this all the time. All the time. They're bigger than I heard they're building a new youth house somewhere. And, um, that's, that's the investment yeah. right there. Yeah, I think they're building a new youth house in Nook now. That's the reinvestment. That's what they going. How about you? Yeah. What you think they going to reinvest? Yeah, that's the same thing. Right there on South Orange Drive, <laughs> right by West Side High School. Couple of McDonald's and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Burger Kings, yeah. yeah. Have, have, um, have you ever seen, like, you, you you from a different place, so have you ever seen that? Man. I'm talking to Kiki. Have you ever seen reinvestments in, because uh, Harlem went through a gentrification, gentrification. Still going through it. Still mm -hmm. going through it. Yeah. So what kind of changes have you seen in that? Because we, we, in Nork, we, we going through the beginning stages of that. So, like, growing up, it was, like, a lot of things, even when my mom was still there. It was there when I was there. But as I got, like, into, like, probably 2009, all these, like, fancy buildings started coming out of nowhere. It's just a bunch of, like, shopping. It's, like, basically, like, to lure people into shopping stuff. It's not no real investments. Like, yeah. it's not cleaning up the schools. Like, there's a lot of abandoned schools inside of um, Harlem that are really nice looking from the outside. But it's schools that are sharing schools, like, six different schools in one. Yeah. So why not just clean up this school and put a whole school here instead of them sharing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, a bunch of no coffee real investments. shops and shit. Yeah. yeah, they put in shopping. Like, New York is a shopping place, but it's, like, everywhere you go, like, it's something shopping is more of a take your money than invest your money. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I would find it hard to live in Manhattan. Like, I... I mean, I'm making mm. birthday sandwiches be like $10. I mean, for, for somebody, I think for somebody who, who like actually $17. was born and raised like... That's 50 like, over here. <laughs> 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 like, like, I think if you if you was born in Harlem Hospital and you lived in New York, Manhattan your whole life, I don't think it would be much, make much of a difference. But if you're coming from Jersey and you got to live in Manhattan, that's a rough transition. Right. Uh, it yeah. can be, but like for example, like it's, I have moved no from New York in, to in like Manhattan. southern states or mid western states, and I was so mad because they don't make the same amount as they say. Like you know how they say the cost of living is different. Yeah, like, but they don't make the same. But they money. they and they paycheck that you round off a month. It still doesn't allow them to pay their rent. So they have to have roommates or sell out a room or whatever the case may be or live a certain way. It's not as they make it seem. So when people from up north go down and think it's going to be okay, no, you're putting yourself in a situation where you could just be home. Yeah, the you same know what I'm situation. Like, mm -hmm. I was crying that I, my, I couldn't see a certain amount of money because I was used to a certain amount of money being from New York. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So being in an environment like that, that was a hard transition coming from someone that is coming from basically not seeing as much they coming up here seeing double to them that's everything you yeah. get what i'm saying right. like yeah. it yeah. is it's, it's a difference a big difference yeah. that's what a lot of people want to move down south and they don't understand that shit is shit is crazy man yeah like, trade off and shit. it's definitely a trade off uh, you get cheaper cigarettes but, but not if you <laughs> but look not if you establish a business up here right yeah. if you establish a business that's how up a lot of here people do it. and then go down to Atlanta I know a couple of homies that yeah. trucking companies up here right yeah. but then they move down to Atlanta and yeah. they staying in a big ass house you yeah. know what I mean yeah. but making money because they they bought that house and paid it off that 30,000 wasn't nothing 
Exactly. So, you know, it, it depends on how you move, how yeah, you do it. That's you know a whole different thing. Yeah, I ain't no real estate was so cheap out of New Jersey though, like that, though. Oh, yeah. Pennsylvania dirt cheap. and shit mm-hmm. like that. That shit's dirt cheap as hell. Dirt cheap, man. Uh, speaking uh, of out of New Jersey and just these these type of places, in L.A., I believe, right? It was L.A.? They found, what, four, two? They found two, two people two. In, in L.A. Yeah. It's been four so far in the total month. Yeah, that's crazy, like. Hey, lynchings, mm-hmm. lynchings. It been two in L.A. for this month. Like, 2020, though, lynchings. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I believe that these, uh, somebody's trying to incite a race war. Mm-hmm. Like, trying. Yeah, like, he really, really yeah. trying. Because, like, all these these events happening back to back. Like, and it's just, like, right on the hills of COVID where everybody been in the house frustrated. And now all these crazy events is just, is just happening back to back. Like, yeah, I think yeah. somebody's trying to like get black people minorities. I know you don't like the word minorities, but right. <laughs> to, I ain't no white woman. Man. Trying to get minorities yeah, to to react in a certain way. Like you, you like, minorities. Like you think, like you think it could be that. Like you think somebody could be trying to like get get us to react in a violent way. To like mm. possibly enforce martial law or some mm. shit like that. Cause I see your shirt, man. It seemed like you could foretell the future, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got war side. Yeah, war side. That's war side. Man, man. But I definitely think it been a war. You know, that's why one of the reasons I got war side. You know, um, what I see, like everything happens for a purpose. Mm-hmm. Even the bullshit yeah. is necessary. It's just depending how you gonna take it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if they out hanging people, I ain't gonna lie. I'm nervous. Like, me too, bro. Like, that Everybody shit got me. You know, nowadays, you not, you know, we all from the hood, so, you know, we got enemies and all that type of fake-ass enemies, but, yeah. you know, we look around, but now you just, like, you wondering who. Yeah. You get I what know. I'm saying? Yeah. Before, you had a picture of, a right, I see this person, you we know, know. Yeah. we know, but now you like, man, people hop out of cars, I be looking like, like why are you staring so much? Because I don't know what you yeah. doing. Because yeah. everything right. is crazy now. Yeah. And, right. and for people to get hanged, L.A., I didn't know they used to hang people in L.A. Like, you know, down south you here, but in L.A., with all that craziness going. That was a common practice nationwide, man. They they trying to say it was a suicide. Suicide. Nah. Nah. And the two two families are like, we don't know him to be suicidal, and their families know best. Like, if they know he was, you know somebody who's suicidal. Well, he got hung on the tree? Yeah, yeah. yeah they the found tree, him hung on the street. Like one was like three o'clock in the morning. And, and the then what? Like Never. keep it a hundred though. Like what black person go hang? Like if even hey. if a black person, like I know it's probably black people who who hung themselves before in the house. Right. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> about to house. say. In the house or some shit. Yeah, on a tree and all that. Like I don't, I don't think I don't, like like I don't see that. I don't see that happening. Like I see somebody out there, cause you know they found. Within these these riots, they have found people. They like police, undercover police uh, officers. They found uh, yeah. people passing bricks out of cars, like like mysterious, like some wild yeah. shit. I seen like, a couple when I was downtown Newark doing protests. I seen like three undercover. Elizabeth like, too. It's like yeah. people yeah. trying Elizabeth to start too. riots. Shit, like, yeah. That shit is yeah. crazy, man. That's what I'm saying. The, my bad, cut you off. But what is starting needs to me. I'm saying it needs to happen. Cause this era, this generation needs to wake the fuck up and stay woke. Yeah. We're not woke at all. Yeah. We like we like lighters. Like we can have a few for a little bit, and then it's yeah. over. Mm-hmm. And then the next trend come, whatever next phone, next. This shit is serious, yeah, and we're not is. taking that shit serious at all. Yeah, you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like this is very serious. Me being like Haitian, knowing that you know where my history come from, and people in Haiti still fighting right now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So for us, for me to be in America, and I be looking like those who call themselves quote unquote black Americans, I be looking at them like, yo, what are y'all doing, yo? Yeah. Like, they taking us, including me. Exactly. And we still fighting each other. Lose lose situation. Where we winning at? And I have a I have a I have a big problem with because I'm I'm Dominican, mm-hmm. right? So I have a big problem with the island that we come from, right? Yeah, Because well, you, you know somebody. That. Cause I, I, you, said, well, you think you know somebody. Because <laughs> 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 I feel like, you, I feel like <laughs> we fighting, <laughs> right? You got Haitians <laughs> and Dominicans <laughs> fighting. Yeah. yeah. Why are we fighting? We on the island. same island. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I saw Cardi B speak about that a mm-hmm. couple days ago. And I agree with her. Like, that's, like, we need to stop all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah. it's the leaders. The leaders, the people who've been leading, been deceiving us. So mm -hmm. now, like us, the upcomings, like we got to. Uh, it's scary to lead too. It's like it ain't no like simple thing to be a leader of mm -hmm. people. Nah, you gotta definitely stay the not. Ship, you gonna definitely you gotta, you gotta take. Not right only do you gotta stay. Yeah. Not only do you gotta stay the ship. You gotta you gotta go over the mountain first and catch Whoa. all the arrows. You know what I mean? Like yeah, come on, it's a lot of them over there. As you, uh. being a leader, you got you the first one over the hill. You feel what I'm saying? But um, that that's an interesting thing when it comes to the Haitians and the Dominicans. You know, it's been a long racial, like a racial war between the two, which I wouldn't even call it a racial war because I mean, if we go to history, we yeah. all the same. Exactly. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? But it's just I I believe that's just some come from the older generation. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. I seen I seen some shit. Uh, it was in Dykeman. You know, Dykeman's a big Dominican yeah. area. Yeah, right. They had some dudes there. They was uh, they chased some protesters out. This happened when the protest first started. They chased some. It was like some black protesters. They chased them out the neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, so that but, was facts. Yeah, yeah that's but facts. the video, oh, the the video, the I way they titled that. it, the way they titled it, it made it seem like they they was like on some racist shit, like. Like they only did it because they, which could have been the, the the case. I don't know, but they got on camera and they explained it. Like yo, they just protecting the the stores, and they could have been anybody. It wasn't. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which and then one of the dudes looked at straight black, just like like you feel me? Like you wouldn't even know he was Dominican. I know. Mm -hmm. But they supposed to be doing a Haitian Dominican march where they supposed to tie the flags. I, I don't tell in, you, in, in in New York. Exactly. I'm not sure <laughs> when it's uh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You would never know, bro. It's Dominicans, bro. bro. Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, You could be bro. Dominican right here. Exactly. You could be Dominican. You would never know. Exactly. Yeah, facts. My you grandmother is full Dominican. She was just as probably darker than you. Yeah. And yeah. I got a little dark because of the sun. Bro, it's the same. Yeah. You're on the same island. The only thing that separates, if correct me if I'm wrong, is a fucking little, like a little fucking sand ditch. Line. Yeah, yeah, like a sand line or something. Like, mm -hmm. It's not even a fucking border. Yeah, man. But that's some weird shit. We in Warsaw. Let me get one of them bands, man. Oh, I it's, definitely. Uh, I, 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 was, I, was, I was waiting. I was waiting yeah. to the. We on Warsaw, you know, man. We on the right side. Yeah. Warsaw. We got, got bands. I got glow. These the glow in the dark. Kind. Oh, let me get. Oh, yeah, I need a glow in the dark, John. My, my son going. We'll love the green. Let me get one. I mean, so what color? I mean, got no, Warsaw marching merchandise. Right you see these? This, which is the glow in the dark? The green one. This the white one. All right. The ones that look like this, they glow in the dark. But the ones that look like that, the thicker ones, uh -huh. they won. All right. They're the ones that's not going. Got some war side. Yo, what war know. side? Explain to us what war side is. Um, I think it's just, the war side stands for um, for yeah. the warrior to be wise and have wisdom to understand the war he or she goes through in life. Okay. And the um the W stands for like connecting unity. Mm. You know, it's I I got influenced by um. <laughs> looking at um like Black Panther, Nelson Mandela, and you know they at one time in the um the movie he was saying like yo we build we do the fist is to mean that we together because one of us can't stop but together we yeah. can stop it. Mm -hmm. So war side will just eventually be like yo we connected we unified we together mm -hmm. you know so if I see you like many things mean war side like you helping like what y'all doing right here this is war side. Mm. You get I'm what I'm saying? Him. Hey, you man, get what I'm man. saying? So, feeding the homeless, that's war side. Loving your man, loving your woman, that's war side. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's all about, you know, carrying yourself with wisdom and enlightenment. Mm -hmm. That's what war side stands for. Love and it. plus, right. we at fucking war. war. Exactly, on, 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 on this side. <laughs> on this side. Uh, on this side. We on war on this side. Love that's it. a fact. All sides. You talking about this side. All sides. <laughs> you talking about. Yeah. Medical. Yeah, medical, uh, educational, chemical, chemical. Educate, yeah, they got all types of shit. Diabolical, Amen. astronomical. <laughs> That's how the niggas rap. Diabolical, astronomical. Yo, but y'all, you know, weirdly enough, right? The uh, some shit that that just I don't understand. The, the George Floyd and the the cop. I don't know his name. Derek with a COVID, whatever the fuck his name. <laughs> COVID nineteen. Yeah, this fucking. <laughs> Fucking God. Cop and killer number 3,012. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's all it Cop is. Cop killer like, yeah. 3,012. Yeah, him. We're going to give him a number just like they give 
prisoners in number. The, so he three thousand twelve. The, like the, the name of the cop is like it's like I mean yeah, it's he's interchangeable. Yeah, like, 3, like that shit like it's just a uniform. You feel me? <laughs> he 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 KC three thousand twelve. KC yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what we gonna call him. So KC three thousand twelve, right? Him and George Floyd actually knew each other. Like they worked at yeah. a fucking strip club. They're just trying to find any reason to just try to say that like oh it was, it was like they had beef within each other or whatever the case may be. That's why he did what he did. Because you gotta remember the other officers on duty were saying that oh I only had three shifts. Oh this is my fourth day. Like they throw everything on him. You get what I'm saying? Cause yeah. they're saying he's like the cold captain that basically was on shift to say on command. So it was like if they're saying like these people had beef with each other, then oh. Yeah. On command, the on command chief said, "Hold him down until I say so." Yeah, that's the what they're other, trying to say. The other officers, like I know, they're gonna get a. If, if they do get convicted, they're gonna get a lenient. They they they're gonna be pillow. Like they're gonna get a little like a yeah, slap, slap on the wrist. wrist. They're gonna get a slap on the wrist, basically. But my thing is with they like him knowing each other. Like I haven't seen the whole video, but did did George ever say his name? Like did no. he ever? No. When they showed it from the store view, they showed him sitting there while they said he was resisting. He was just sitting on the side in the handcuffs like that. But this they is put him in a car, beat him up, dragged him out, and like, but you don't see him like. But this is why I don't believe that that like they they really knew each other like that because it's like yo, if you, if I got my knee on your neck and you know me and you about to <laughs> die. And you you feel yourself down. You gonna be like, yo, B, get the fuck Derry, off. You get off of me. Stop playing with me. Like now you, you gonna playing. say something? What the fuck is you doing? Yeah, <laughs> like you not just. I don't think they really knew each other. It was like a familiar that. face. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, but, but look, this black the thing. Man. This the thing. I be trying to explain to black people though. But a lot of black people don't like when I say this. But I'm gonna say it though because after this, I really feel. Say it. Say it. But. All even white black people always talking about the cool white people and all that, that shit don't matter. Like when the, yeah. at the end of the day, like you feel me when the shit go down, like you feel me. Yo, that's your ass, like, you feel me? That's, it's gonna be them and them, you, they gonna pick them. They yeah, gonna pick you, Always, you yo. Hold up, son. Like, I always wondered that, because it was a white dude at the Juneteenth March yesterday. He, oh, was, he was a part of the organizers. He was with them. Like, look, 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 he's a leader, wasn't he? Nah, nah, he wasn't. He was ready. He was ready. He was He was the leader. He wasn't the leader. He didn't even speak, but he was with them. And I always wondered, like, he was cheering them on. You know, he basically agreed with everything they were saying. And I just wondered, like, like if it really came down to choosing the side, like, Come on, bro. Like, oh, it's honestly, uncle's over here. <laughs> and a bunch of strangers over here with some talking some bullshit. <laughs> we ain't got nothing question. to do with him. Like, Go ahead, actually. Yeah. So what does that mean for someone like me who has, like, both sides inside? Actually, what actually, does that mean for a person like me who would have both inside? So, white family, yeah. like half white family, and then. All right, I white. got I got a question for you. Who is your father white or mm -hmm. your your father's white? Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's a, that's a tough one. Tough. Mm. You in the mix? See me right. personally. I, nah, I'm a I'm a I'm a be honest. I don't me I don't I don't believe in mix. Mm. That's just me personally. A lot of people like I haven't found a lot of people who agree with me. I have found one person who agree with me. I believe you are who your father is. Yeah, nah, it's, um, it's That's who, just who you identify with, too. I mm -hmm. can't say that, too. It's who well, you identify, it, too. With, but, like, yeah. I grew up in, like, a type of diverse home where I was open to all cultures. I wasn't mm. raised on, you know, like, focus on one culture. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Mm. I wasn't, my mom mm. took us around. She traveled. Like, but I see, know about yeah. Little Italy and stuff when I was mm. young, mm. so I... Mm. Had like you that's, know, see, because that's your life experiences. That right. that's what your parents. So was, now, at, was able while to this teach is you. going on, it's hard to really put myself in a position as far as like. W what do you identify to, with, though? I identify myself as a black woman. So yeah, that's what I'm about to say, but yeah. when it comes to freedom of speech, there's you have to lay it out. Facts is facts. You, do. you can't right. just single out and just be like, no, what we say is one side, and that's just it. It can't mm. be like that because. I'm a person that still looks at both sides and I still try to put myself in other people's shoes to understand mm. why do they even think this way or live this way or respond this way to a different culture that's not fully them. Like, mm -hmm. But you, you know what's crazy? Is white and she'd be like, nigger and shit like that. She racist too. You can't be a certain color to come in her house. No, like, you no, get what no. I'm saying? You can't be... Y'all couldn't come in our house. <clears throat> probably you. Me and him could. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Say that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You fucked me up right there. Wow. Say that again. We, hold on. So you said, we couldn't come. Hold on. Me and him couldn't come no. in your house? Him, him, if you yeah. guys look like, you know my grandmother, uh. like, 
y'all, them two couldn't come. Maybe uh, you probably, uh, but probably me and him most definitely. God, damn, I'm sweating. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to go. Up, I wouldn't want to go up in there. You like said that, like your but... mother house or your no, grandmother? My grandmother. Your grandmother and your white. grandmother is uh, Italian. You said she's white. She just so like Italian or just so like regular white. That's a generation yeah. guy. <laughs> It goes yeah. off the skin tone. You get what I'm saying, like. Yeah. So, all right. So my question is, like, how do, you, like, how does she, like, Because it took her a very, very long time to accept my mom, and my mom is his skin tone, but that's who my father loved. So it was like my my, my father married my mother. She had they have five children together. I'm their baby. Damn. So she accepts you because of my skin tone, and I'm her grandkid. Because you're a little lighter, she yeah. accepts. Yeah. Mm. That's crazy. Even so my, how do you my feel brother, up? my brother, he has his uh, baby mother. She's your skin tone. And she was pissed. She called me like, "Why well, your grandmother not left? She really dead. Yeah, I thought I told you I was playing. No, girl, we dead serious. Like so we know. Do you, how, I, I don't affiliate with myself with that though. I don't yeah. speak to her because it's like you, you, you still didn't grow out of it. You got mad black grandkids, great grandkids. Like get over it. Like, oh, right. that's what I was about to ask you. Like, how, how do you feel about her? Cursing like, her out. Types of dumb mm. shit. You be like, cursing her out. Yeah. Grandma, shut the like. You know what I'm saying? You sound crazy. <laughs> we can't even stay on the phone for too long because I'm too blunt, yeah. and she's too blunt. And that's how uh, that's crazy. Kind of, that's know? generational gap. Nigga love her. Nigga love her. It's the same thing. It's the same thing as um Killer Mike. He did something. This on Netflix, and he went to a senior citizen home. <laughs> oh yeah, I seen that. And he interviewed a, a white lady, older white lady, and she said, "Oh well, the news is showing all these black people committing the crimes. So I think black people commit the crimes." That's what she said. Yeah, it's mm. prop- now that's a that's, racial type of that's, 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 type statement. That's propaganda. You feel me? Like but, that's why you gotta be careful with the news and shit like that. You gotta believe none of what you see and half of what you read. That's why y'all need to support black media. So mm-hmm. make sure you go, yeah, make sure man. you go, right. like and subscribe right now to High Society Podcast, man. So pause the video and hit the subscribe, and then you go. Please, back. you feel yeah. me? Support uh-huh. black media, but yeah, man. Mm. That's crazy though. That that's very interesting. Like I don't know which, what I would do. I, <laughs> one more point is like, I don't, people don't realize you can't really out teach racism like shit like that though. Cause like, especially you, um, if it's still in people. Yeah. If you um you understand why white people really going crazy is they don't they cannot survive amongst a diverse population. Like people keep telling them and encouraging them to do that shit, and that's yeah. really they death. Like you feel me? It can't. It's not me being racist or not. Like that's really scientific facts and shit like that. They can't survive amongst a diverse population. Wow. They gotta be by why, themselves. So why? Why? Because we better they, than they, them. They, no, because <laughs> they can't. Honest, not like that. They can't reproduce like that. They look at their numbers. Look at their reproduction numbers. Them shits is down. Like you feel me? Yeah. I think. Matter of fact, I think it's more of them dying than being born. So, so that's yeah. a fact. Like you can look yeah, that shit up though. Like so. So me? uh, that means if they was in a diverse group of more diverse. group, I get what you're saying. They yeah, need to they be the majority. They gotta, that's why. That's why Hitler's whole thing was he like he's, he was getting every kicking everybody out and just having every nothing but Aryan like Aryan um like white white people Aryan, and shit, like having them breed like he was treating people like dogs like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like he it wanted the, a, ma- the master yeah, line like he yeah, wanted the best yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, it was a wicked the best like, breed like type shit. Like, slavery was really like that too. It was but, wicked but genius. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wicked, wicked genius. genius. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's, a, that's an example of somebody wickedly using their genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's using his that's genius for, for, that's for, for, for take uh, brain and put it but in brain. that's crazy though. Like that's that's crazy. I ain't think about it like that. That's why. Yo, I didn't but think about it like that either. this is why. Then you talking about now. You talking about more. You keep talking about all these illegal, illegal immigrants coming. That's what all this shit about. There. Everything they talk about that um they don't like. Like they trying to get rid of abortion. They trying to get rid of uh, illegal immigrants. They trying to get rid of uh they want everybody to be uh, promote homosexuality. No offense to nobody. I don't, I mean, yeah, but yeah, I get I'm just, saying. I mean, everything that shit right there bring down, uh, reduces population and shit like that. Like, you feel me? But that shit only help who? Yeah. You feel me? Uh, that, that shit benefit nobody, but it don't benefit but nobody. But the like, um, like the white people, like white population, like, you feel me? Uh, hey, you, you got a good point You got there. a great point, yeah. brother. Uh, but y'all, let me ask a question, a serious yeah. question. Yeah, the book y'all don't from, think amongst yeah, book us, book right? Followed by the DVD and all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't think amongst us we racist? <laughs> No, I well, I think everybody is. They can everybody. answer that, but I give you my, I give you what I believe. I we said it on, I said it on the last episode. I don't believe that uh, black people can be racist, but I give you my reason after they. Nah, that's, after bullshit. they that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. They bullshit. think it's bullshit, but yeah. I think I, I don't believe black people like can. Be you know what? I, I think <laughs> it is same same way like white people go on color, black people go on color too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, me but, being like me being like Islander. Like going into other islander houses, color issue too, or how, especially with the locks, man. Even my own house, man. You get what I'm saying with my parents. Like, look at this guy with dreads. Look at him. 
You a gangster, that's what yeah, they be called. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why I think dreads like mean that? It's I warriors. think what y'all talking about, the way I I put that in my head as prejudice. Mm-hmm. Is or being ignorant. Or just being That's right. Racism come with that too. Stereotype. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stereotype. Racism for me goes to another level. Like when it comes it to power. Yeah. Now, like if I if I'm not if I defund your your zip code facts, and facts, the schools facts. in your zip code based on because I know this zip code is all black people. That's or if racism. I make sure I, yeah, I put racist. certain I'm put this sergeant in this zone because I know he's racist. Red line. It's all black people in this. <laughs> if I if I cut the, the funding on this and put more prisons over here, like based on zip codes. So can right. I ask a question? So do you feel like black people um can be racist basically because we've been through so much and we haven't never we didn't really have a voice so we can sit there and be like yeah but I don't Chinese, call it like I don't Pikachu. call it racism like, though I, don't, I I call it just being prejudiced okay so that's where I, I just I just use a different term for that okay and I separate yeah. it and also the experience of oppression right that experience of oppression is not only with our generation it's with our parents generation right. it's with the grandparents generation so I think that carries which now has some type of influence on us towards white people. You feel me? Um, but yeah, it, it, that's an interesting no, question. No son that like a pet peeve of mine is getting tricked by a white person. Like I'll think by I should I, I cannot let no white person I should have drive me crazy. Yeah. I cannot like I should have drive me up, crazy. Yeah. That's for like, real, like, real, bro. You I'm like, like you wake up with said, nah, like, 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 white I people. Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> Nah, no, just, how you get here? <laughs> yeah, let me hold it. Let me tell you a story. Yeah, this, no game. this dude right here, right? <laughs> this dude, let me tell you a quick yeah. story. Right? This dude right here, right? Yeah. So we, we we at this spot. We working at this spot and shit, right? So yeah, I know you're talking about. So I got, I, 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 got, I, I put him on. I got him in there, right? So yeah. I didn't know they was going to put him with the white dude. <laughs> I thought he was going to be with everybody else. I didn't know they was going to send him upstairs, which is only him. Another guy and the white dude, who's the manager, who's the boss, basically. A seventy-year-old gay dude. Just keep it telling, tell the whole story. Oh man! man. No offense to nobody. Oh, yeah, no, no, you talking about the other guy that's there? Yeah, man. We get it. Was, get it. No, no, no. Was, get it. It was another. The, the with, other guy soft working. Soft rock playing in, in the music. Was, 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 was an older gay dude. Oh, he was okay. like a seventy-year-old. He was cool and shit. But right. and then the the manager was his white dude. Straight. Looked like straight. Uh, Steven Seagal on a on a, on, on, on a Duggan, fucking Jim Duggan little brother and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal on a Harley Davidson, basically. You feel me? With, 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 with a great ponytail. So my man gives him a write up, right? Which didn't come from him. It came from somebody else. But yeah. But just the fact that this white dude handed him a write up. He went the fuck off. Like, <laughs> he went the fuck off. I'm like, yo, why the fuck he do Thug life, man. Thug life. Hey, nah, he went the fuck off. What you telling me? He- nah, I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, you a bitch, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I, I, I swear to God, I was holding it in for like six months because I've been working with him for every day for six months. So it's like I, I, I got sick. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm working this shit. Sick. I wasn't supposed to be here. I came anyway because they mm-hmm. kept calling me and shit. Like, I just came I'm sick. So I ain't making that many cans and shit like that. So he, he write me up for making 55 cans and shit. I'm like, bro, this nigga know I'm sick and shit. He gonna go downstairs and write me up for this shit. So I'm just here looking at him and thinking about it. I'm like, bro, you a bitch, son. You feel me? <laughs> he like, he said, huh? He like, he like, oh, I, I didn't write up. He's like, oh, oh, come on, come on downstairs. We go talk to Lewis about it. Like, you feel me? Like, like, <laughs> he went down there, you feel me? Go talk to Lewis and shit. Then Lewis like, uh, he went as soon as he got down there, he got, he got his heart and shit. Now he start getting loud and shit. Like, you feel me? Yeah, 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 I'm, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, go ahead, man. Oh, man. But I, I trick myself out of four hundred dollar bonus the very next day though. That's where he, that's where he's going to play oh, yeah. that story. Like, Yo, like, why the fuck you do that's all why, this? But and later the that night, day, that shit made me so mad. Yeah. Yeah. That shit made me mad as hell. Hey, you could have like, done this, this the next day. Yeah. Yo, they, yeah. they had the nigga check already printed. Oh. Right. Right. They called his name the next day with the check. I'm like, got tricked by a white man. I'm like, what the fuck? be a TV show. Get tricked by the white man. Yo, that'd be crazy. But to be fair to them though, I swear to God, you know what's gonna be so crazy when I say this though. I got I drowned in a swimming pool in Florida. Like I was like seven years old. I swear to God, and some white lady to st- save my life. I swear to God, real talk. That's why yeah, I, I, everything God. I love. I was a good, everything I love, the real shit though. You feel me? Wow. See, that's what everybody wow. not. But but <laughs> don't change the facts. Don't change the facts. Don't change the, the facts. Fact. That's personal. That's a personal story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's like Lil Wayne and that Uncle Bob shit. Like, that's like personal. That's your personal yeah. shit. Like, go ahead, bro. Uncle Bob. Yeah, Lil Wayne wilding with that man. Yeah, he talking I, I, about I, I, niggas yeah, ran on his body. I only watch him. I only watch him when that show no more. It's over. He done up now. I never watch it. No way. Anytime I see him up, don't turn that shit off. Like, yeah, like, yeah. But GS Line, you 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 fuck with basketball? You <sighs> watch basketball? 
I I know it, but I don't fuck with I'm sports no more, man. So it's, it's all to blind you, bro. I don't fuck with sports no more, man. All right, but but I'm still like I'm still know, into it. Though. You would know these four basketball players I'm about to name. Now I don't I, I don't agree with these two guys, so I want to get a, another opinion. Mm-hmm. How about you, Kiki? You know about basketball? Just a little bit. I got like some favorite players because the way right. the footwork is, but I don't really keep up with that. I like football. You can all right, catch all right. me on. We go. Now. We we. All right, check this right. You got one shot. You got to pass the ball. With these one one player you could choose from. You got. They got to make this shot in order for you to win this championship. Last second shot. Buzzer beater. You got Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, Steph Curry, or Klay Thompson. Damn. I already know he about to pick. Who, Ray? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Shit. Damn, yo. Who taking that shot? See, Ray Allen, Steph Curry. Reggie Miller or Klay Thompson. I'm going with Reggie Miller, y'all. You going with Reggie Miller, too? <laughs> I'm Brad, going with Reggie Miller. Come on. Yo. Put him on top. Yo. Who else over there? Who else over there? Who Who what? Yo, you remember what Reggie Miller did to Joy? What's five stars? Remember? Thank you. Thank you. I brought you remember? Who my man at? Who you got? That's oh, it. Hey, 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 like hey, a hey, 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 He's some catch and shoot nigga. Reggie gonna hit you with the fake and then pull yeah, up. Reggie got alley and bow. I gotta go back and watch some, some tape, man. <laughs> See what he did to Joy when he got Joy <laughs> mad as hell. I go back he got Joy tape, mad man. as hell. Man, look what he did to the yeah. Knicks at the Garden. That's the one right there. That's oh, the one yeah. right there. That's, clutch, that's a clutch performance. But like Reggie, choked, like. Reggie choked. He was, he was a choke artist at times. I don't even know I'm trying to ever heard that man choking against his sister, man. That's it. Like, out. That's the only person he couldn't beat. Everybody else, I swear to God, though, he kicked their ass, like, though, like, you feel me? Like, well, now you kicked their ass. He gave, he gave it to him, like, though, like, you feel me? I was, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think when he, when he choked. I'm, I'm trying, to, shit, I'm trying to figure out, too. Wasn't that the shit with, with uh, Spike Lee on the side? Or no, 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 he, he, did, he, he, told, he, he told Spike oh, Lee. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he hit told his, Spike his Lee. Helmet, choke where you from? That's like, uh, I mean, it's like mm-hmm. a lame slang for uh, old yeah. sex and shit like that. So he's like, yeah. hit his helmet. Yeah, yeah, That's like, helmet. I mean, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's, it's long yeah. story. Yeah. Once you said Reggie Miller, that popped up in my head. Like, what? I don't know, man. I, Ray I Allen know. missed a couple. Who, Kiki, who, who your favorite football team? You said you like football. Who your favorite football team? Giants? I do like the Giants. That's your favorite team? Uh, yes. Oh, man. You got to go, too. Uh, I know you. I mean, that tell me she got a lot of patience, man. That tell me right there, man. Anytime I see a Giants fan, I'm like, I man, mean, you got shit, a lot of patience. Giants won. <laughs> shit, we got more patience <laughs> than a Giants fan. Nah, I'm a Cowboy. Sometimes I like the Patriots. I like the Patriots sometimes. I'm the Ravens, baby. We got Jackson, baby. Ra- yeah, Ravens got some good players. Ooh. I don't know. They really do. But I feel like when, though, when it comes to, like... <sighs> A team get I, like there's good yeah, players out see? there. Take all the good players and put them on one team, yeah, and see? that team alone will be undefeated. There will be no more like other teams. Well, that's why they got salary cap to to prevent shit like that from <laughs> happening. But you just gotta see it one time. Pull all of them together on one field, and well, that, that would be that's some they got lit. It's gonna be that probably be boring though. It'll be right? boring it's for the, the competition team. though. Yeah, you gonna like it's gonna be. It too would easy. be, but for one time, just one time. I think that's like the All Star game. That's why the All Star game. Yeah. yeah. A bit. But speaking of competition, I I very very interesting story about Michael Jordan. Like, speak like this is a competitive motherfucker. Like, Ma, what? Like uh, he on a different level. Of, of, it's a little bit sick. He, like, Kobe, he like Kobe, a Kobe. Like, but uh-huh. what I mean by Jordan is because he betted Horace Grant. It was a bet. I don't know what the bet was about, but it was five dollars, and he won. And you know they fucking millionaires. You make me a five dollar bet. We both millionaires. I'm probably not gonna go get the five dollars. Like, right. like uh, I'm probably not even gonna think about it because I wouldn't ask you for the five. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not gonna ask. Yo, the millions. My, but he Jordan actually asked him for he the was five dollars. Sick hell, he was he hunting said, that nigga down. Said, yo, <laughs> he was like, yo, for real, you want the five dollars? He said, shit in the hotel room upstairs. Like we down here. He's like, hey, go get it. I right. want my five dollars. Like he wanted his five dollars. And he got to get the five dollars. He holding it up. He said, yeah, this is my trophy. <laughs> I beat you. <laughs> like, God right. damn, my yeah, nigga. That's a that's big difference. Big difference. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yo, that's a different level of competitive. Like, you being a basketball player, like, have you ran across teammates or, or, or people you went against 
like that had a level of competition like that? Yeah, um, Ashton Gibbs, man, he played for Seton Hall Prep. And he went to Pittsburgh. He played for Pittsburgh and played overseas. My man, yeah, yo, he used to come to my house, yo. He used to be flipping coin quarters and stuff and be betting off that. And like my man, really be doing everything as a bet, bro. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you could chill with this nigga all day. You gonna bet like eight times. <laughs> But that competitive spirit yeah. turned out on the court. He all-time leading scorer, Seton Hall Prep, went to Pittsburgh, second all-time leading scorer. So it produces greatness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Shit, look at Mike Tyson. Yeah, ain't now no feel in this world better than winning, though. Like, I'm telling you, like, though, son. I, to me, anyway, like, that shit, like, when you just win something, like, God yeah. damn, that shit just, like, man. <laughs> it's a rush, bro. You but feel some, me? But some people <laughs> like son. to challenge some 1-800 people. 1 800 gambler. Michael Jordan, right. per se, because. <laughs> Even though it's five dollars, it could have been a dollar. People are used to Michael Jordan winning all the time, all right. so it may not have been basketball. I won, you get what I'm saying, or did, but I beat him at something that he's not great at. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's more of a prize, like a right. this is a great right. investment pride type. I beat you. I mm -hmm. can say I beat you at something. Mm -hmm. Because you're known for always winning for everything. That's sometimes where that can come from. Too. And that's how they really are. Like I got a homie that do caddy. He does caddying for Jordan, Ray Allen. He said these dudes bet, bro. Oh, yeah, on a golf course, 3, right? 3,000, 5, 10 a game. And I'm talking about 10,000 a game, bro. Charles Barkley lost 10 oh. million at the crap table. Uh, Woo. So they, they do this shit. Gambling problem. Yeah. I, I mean, he lost, like, I know he lost like 4 million on the um, Patriots and the Giants against the Giants that year. That's a gambling yeah. problem. That's a gambling yeah, problem. That's a gambling problem. That's a gambling problem. We're going to get into the video. You, you gave me a video, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get it. In, matter of fact, introduce. Your video from GS Lion, Warside. Warside. Yeah, this one of this one of my videos called Fear God. You know, go check that out on GS Lion. You know, on God Sent YouTube. Describe that. You know, um, video called Fear God. You know, check that out. Check the lyrics. You know, check the video. Check the song. You get what I'm saying? Warside. Check it out. Warside. Yes. Luxray beats. That's the only thing I can do. Yeah. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. Uh -huh. That's why my enemies look at me, yeah, at me, yeah. I spit these balls just to kill ya, yeah, kill ya. Yeah. I can't fuck with the bone squad, bone squad. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, yeah. To my grave, I'm getting paid. Shout out to my haters, I got fat in my boulet. Man, God got my soul, and I'ma tell you there's no trade. The pressure heavy, so I'm getting ready. Plus a king, bust it move like he got two bellies. Plus a king, swagger sharp, hasting twin Mercedes. Enemies plotting to kill me, well, come and get me. See, them niggas know, they know what time it is. If my G's wanna eat, man, we gotta live. Them niggas know, they know what time it is. If my G's wanna eat, man, we gotta live. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, yeah, at me, yeah. I spit these balls just to kill, yeah, kill, yeah. I can't fuck with the ball squad, ball squad. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, yeah, at me, yeah. I spit these balls just to kill, yeah, kill, yeah. I can't fuck with the ball squad, ball squad. This is stick up, stick up. Yeah, his lift up, lift up. My mind sicker, sicker than any nigga, nigga. Man, what competition? To me, it's just a challenge. What he put front of me, man, to me, it's just a damage. So please excuse my manners. See, I don't got no manners. My city full of hammers. With monkey go banana. The clip will make you slip. So please catch a grip. Don't trip. Cause you could get hit. And number of cases, I would tell you what you face it. But time wasted. The king ruler. Back for his nation. Just a brace it. Or you could get broken for breaking the rules of this nation. Nigga, it's war side. Hey, I'm on mine. Always a door mine. Be on the back, in between, in the front line. Cause the only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, y'all, at me, y'all. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, y'all, at me, y'all. I spit these balls just to kill y'all, kill y'all. I can't fuck with the bomb squad, bomb squad. The only thing I do is fear God, fear God. That's why my enemies look at me, y'all, at me, y'all.
Uh, all, all black churches in America got white Jesus on the wall, bro. I, I'm not even, I ain't going to say that. Real shit. That's fair to God. So how would people feel about it? Like you think, how would you think they react to it though? Like all these years of worship and that, that image and shit, you just walk into a church one Sunday and just throw a dart through that motherfucking white Jesus head. Like, it's not God. Like, yeah, it's going to be some old ladies. Yeah, it's going to be some old ladies in that church. Yeah, don't clap. You got some felony charge on a different level. They're going to fuck around and pull a fucking, it's going to be an old lady fucking around and pull a tutu out of her purse. They're going to clap you over that shit. Old lady got two two on the hills, nigga. Like, hey, 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 my influence, man, I listen to all type of music, man. Music to me is just sound and vibration. Yeah, that's just, I mean, so, yeah, that's what it is. Like, before when I was young, like in middle school, right, we used to do, I'm pretty sure y'all used to do that too, like, the off, pencils, the, off, yeah. off the tables and shit, so I just bust, I remember Busta Rhyme had a, um, had a song, da -da -da -dum -dum -dum. oh yeah, da -da -da -dum. Mm -hmm. so the spirit just, we, hold, we, on, hold on, not to cut you off. The most famous beat on the table Nipsons. was the grinding. Yeah. Nah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. That was the most yeah, famous yeah, beat yeah, on the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Nah, the grinding beat. Grinding. That, that was, was the, the most famous, famous beat the on the table. Between the bus around, you remember the bus around? Oh, oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but keep going, keep going, though. But yeah, so one day I was in fifth grade. And they playing it, the whole cafeteria, bro, 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 bro. and I'm coming down, I'm just bouncing like, and I just popped up right when I went to the cafeteria, I just start rapping. Hit you with the same, so what's the deal, yo? I be at home eating Cheerios, hey. like shit like that. And so everybody was just like, oh. And from there, I was like, I can rap. Like, oh, shit, I got it, I got it. <laughs> well, I start taking it serious more in my late years and shit. Okay. My late years, I really start taking it serious. But though. this is what I'm saying, like, what made you, like, like, Cause me, mm -hmm. what made me wanna, uh, what made me believe I could rap was mm -hmm. the the all, all the whack niggas that <laughs> that I thought was whack. Uh -huh. You feel me? Like all the rappers that came out that I thought was whack. Mm -hmm. Talking about Wale. No, not Wale. <laughs> Wale, I, uh, Wale. No, no, no. I, I think Wale. Wale whack, but I don't think he like. I think he could rap though. Okay. I just don't like the way, the way he, he rap. Bring, bring stuff out. Yeah. But like, yeah, right, like, 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 rap. You don't probably don't like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just don't like what he talk about. But I think he could rap. But it's like, yeah. just love like, boy. I'm be honest with you. Uh, the Chief Keef, he's one of them. Super I like his music, but I don't. I didn't think he, he had could that one rap. album though, man. That first album, that, was, I, it, was, it, was, it was a classic. That boy. That his first album was a classic. Hard, yeah. It sounds great, but yeah. I don't think he. But when he was mm -hmm. rapping, I'm listening to his lyrics. It felt like I'm like, damn, I could do something. Like, yeah, I could do this yeah. so better than this. That's what made me like, like what, what, what made you think you, like you could do it mm. from other people? Like one time. This dude I know, he battle rap, right? He nasty in the hood. He was telling me, he's like, yo, this chick, she was listening to my music. She was in front of me. But the whole time, she wasn't giving me no feedback, no energy. I'm like, damn, my shit was whack. The whole time thinking. Three months later, I'm at a party. I see the dude Abu. He know the chick that I was with. And he's like, yo, spit son. I'm like, spit son, how the fuck you know? He said, this chick that you was with told me you could rap your ass off. I'm like, yeah, and that just start playing in my conscience. Like, yo, you could rap. Because you know when rapping, you have doubt. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, you don't want to embarrass Yeah, all you get what I'm saying? I think when anything you love, you know, you bring it in out in front of people, yeah, you have a doubt. So, you know, and then a couple of things. You feel like, like you're walking out the house naked. Yeah, definitely. Right. You get what I'm saying? So a couple of times, same exact thing happened. Like, yo, you nice, son. Like, you nice. My boy, he was locked up. He told me some nigga in jail told him about me. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? So when that just kept playing in my head, I just kept going. Like, fuck it. I kept taking it more serious. So what's some of the things that, 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 that like, you said doubt? Like, what's some of the things that, like, for, for the people who, for the younger dudes who probably mm -hmm. want to rap, what's some of the pitfalls that can happen that, that make you doubt yourself? Damn. Like, how you look at you? Because to me, like, writing, especially rapping music, you giving out a message, you expressing you. Yeah. So if you don't know you, if you don't have no confidence, that's what's definitely gonna make you fall. Like having, you gotta know who you are. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I gotta I be just, certain. If you, if you young, 
You get what I'm saying? I'm older if you young. Find out who you are first before you do music. If you take it serious. Yeah. Because some people just take, you know, nowadays music just, I just spit a bar, get a million out of it, and that's it. But then for those who like me or you, you get what I'm saying? You got to have confidence. You got to be able to look in the mirror and say, win or lose, I'm here. I'm me. Yeah. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's that's one of the things. Like, Nah, you're right. I think it come, yeah, your music come out better, too. Yeah. Word up. But, um. Yeah, man. That's episode motherfucking 38, man. 38? Uh, Yo, we got, side. Wolf side. We got, ep- we got the lovely Miss Kiki in the building. Mm-hmm. GS nice Lion. Nice guys. Sass 24. Yeezy's way on Instagram. I'll be hot, man. Hey, yo, High Society. High Society Podcast, man. Episode 38. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. And we out this motherfucker, yeah, man. Shout out to 5 Star the most. Oh, huh? definitely. Shout out to 5 Star. Shit.